Hello children, thank God that we can come again together for a Sunday school lesson. So before we begin, let us sing Gloria Patri, right? One, two, three. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Right, let us pray. Hands together. Eyes close and listen to Auntie Shamin. Our Father in Heaven, we thank you even for another Sunday, another Lord's Day, that we can come together to worship you and even to have the Sunday School lesson. We thank thee, O Lord, for all the goodness that you have given unto us, even how you have helped our parents to take care of us and even how some of us were able to go back to school. We thank you for how you have kept us safe and healthy and we even thank you especially that we can always learn from your word. Father, as we begin our Sunday school today, help us to pay attention, help us to listen to your word, to learn from it, and to obey it. Please help us to be good children, and even help us to be very thankful for your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to be with all of us, and bless us. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. Right, children. So before Auntie Shermaine goes into the lesson, let us sing our song today. What is it called? Isn't he wonderful? Right? As Auntie Shermaine was teaching all of us about Jesus, we have sang this song before. So I hope you still remember, okay? Isn't he, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, isn't he wonderful? Right? Isn't he wonderful? Wonderful? Wonderful. Isn't Jesus my Lord, my Master, my King? Wonderful. Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's Word. What is God's Word? Where can we find God's Word? From the Bible. Yes. Isn't Jesus my Lord? Wonderful, okay? We shall sing this with our actions. I hope you still remember it, okay? Are we ready? One, two, three. Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? I have seen. Years have heard is recorded in God's word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Right, I hope you have sang it with lots of joy. So later on when we end the lesson, we will sing that song again. Right, and remember when we sing, we are singing to God. Right, so be very, very happy when we sing. Right, because we are praising God. Okay, now can you still remember the memory verse that we have tried to memorize for two weeks? It's from the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 16. Can you remember it already? Let's try together with the actions, okay? Matthew, chapter 13, verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. 
Well done, all right? Now, today, Auntie Shermaine is going to teach us again about the things that Jesus did when he was here on this earth, right? A long time ago, about 2,000 years ago. And before I go into today's lesson, Auntie Shermaine wants to help us to quickly remember what we have learned for the past few weeks. Right? Have you really remembered all the wonderful things that Jesus did? Our first lesson together, we learned about the baptism of Jesus, right? How John the baptizer baptized Jesus. And then, right, God in heaven, God the Father said, This is my beloved Son. Yes, Jesus is the beloved son of God, right? And then we continue to learn how Jesus was able to perform and to do many miracles, right? And one of it was that he fed the multitudes, more than 5,000 people, and Jesus fed, gave them food to eat, and they were all filled, they were all full, right? And how many uh, loaves of bread and Jesus had? Five loaves of bread and two fishes. All of them ate and how many baskets of food were left over? Twelve baskets full. To tell us that Jesus is the Son of God indeed and He is the Savior, right? And then after that, we also learn about how Jesus went around not only to teach. He taught people to turn away, to be very sorry about their sins and to ask God for forgiveness and to believe in the Savior. He also went around to heal many people, isn't it? He healed the woman right, that had a blood issue. The woman touched, right, the very bottom of Jesus' clothes and she was healed, right, and she believed that Jesus is her saviour, even the only saviour that can save her, right? And then Jesus also raised, right, Jairus' daughter from the dead, right, she was dead and she became alive again. And what else did Jesus do, right? Jesus also healed the man that could not hear, right, and could not speak properly, right? Jesus said, Ephata, be open, right? And he was able to hear, he was able to speak properly. And last week, we learned about this man who was blind, but yet he could see and believe in his heart that Jesus is that promised king and that promised savior. Who was that man? Right, the beggar that was blind. His name was Bartimaeus and Jesus healed him too. Well, indeed, all the weeks that we have been learning together, right, we have learned many wonderful things that Jesus did. All of these things that we learn only goes to show us that Jesus must be that Son of God and that promised King and the promised Saviour that God has given to men. And every week, Auntie Shermin has been asking you, have you believed in Jesus? Have you seen and believed in your heart that he is that promised king and the promised saviour? Have you believed yet? Well, for some of you who may not be able to believe yet, today, Auntie Charmaine is going to teach us again from the book of Matthew, chapter 17, about one thing that Jesus did to show his disciples that he is really, truly, the Son of God. Even Jesus is God himself. And the disciples, 
they should not have any question at all that Jesus must be that promised king. Now let us find out what does the Bible tells us about that. Okay, now in chapter 17 of the book of Matthew, right, the Bible tells us that one day, right, very near to the time that Jesus was going to Jerusalem to die for us on the cross, right, Jesus brought three of his very close disciples to go with him up to a very high mountain, all alone. So just the four of them, Jesus and Peter and James and John, right? So Jesus brought Peter, James and John up to the top of a mountain, a high mountain, and just the four of them on their own, right? Jesus brought them there to show them something. Something really very marvelous, wonderful, something that no one had seen before. And what it was it? Well, the Bible tells us that on that mountain top, Jesus transfigured before them. Now, what is the meaning of transfigured? It means that Jesus changed. On the outside, Jesus changed and looked very different. Now, the Bible described to us this, that when they saw Jesus change, right, how did Jesus look like, right? The Bible says and described to us that Jesus' face, right? Now, remember, this is just a picture, right? Jesus' face was like the sun, shining like the sun. Now, children, do you know what is the sun? Yes, it is the bright little ball, big ball of light that is in the sky. Have you tried looking at the sun? Have you tried to look up? Right? Now, Auntie Shermin has tried it before. And I am telling you, don't do it. Why? Because the sun is so shining. If you look at it, right, our eyes will be very painful because it's too bright. Even if you look at the sun, you probably have to do this, right? Because it is very bright. It's very shiny. And the Bible tells us that when Jesus changed in front of Peter, James, and John, his face was like the sun. And what else? The Bible also described to us that his clothes were shining. How shiny they were? They were as shiny as light. And the Bible described that it was as white as light. Now, what is as white as light? Again, right, if you have a lamb in your room that is white in color, right, Auntie Shermin can ask you to carefully put your hands over your eyes and you try to look at it and you realize that light is actually white and very pure, white, shining light. And that was how Jesus looked like when he changed his form in front of Peter, James, and John. If you look at this picture, it is something like that, right? Jesus was completely shining quite like light. And his face was like the sun. Wow! That is really glorious! very wonderful, very marvelous. Why? Because Jesus is the Son of God and Jesus is even God himself. And the Bible tells us that when Jesus changed, right, the three disciples, Peter, James and John, also saw two other men that were with Jesus. And it was told to us that one was 
Moses, and one was Elijah the prophet. And wow, Moses, Elijah, aren't they from heaven? And yet, the two of them appeared here with Jesus, and they were even talking with Jesus. Now, when the disciples saw it, the Bible tells us that Peter, when he saw even Moses and Elijah were there, he said this, Lord, Jesus, my master, is very good for us to be here. Now, if it is pleasing to you, let us make some tents, one for you, one for Elijah, one for Moses. And the Bible continued to tell us this, that as Peter was saying these words, suddenly there was a cloud that went over all of them. And this cloud was also very shining bright with lots of light coming from it. And out of this cloud came a voice from heaven. And of course, that voice from heaven is from none other than God the Father. And he said this, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And God added this, Hear him. God said that Jesus is that beloved Son, and God told all of them there to listen, to hear the words of Jesus. Now, when that voice came from that bright shining cloud, the Bible tells us that Peter, James and John, they were very fearful and they fell down to the floor and they were afraid. Now the Bible continued to tell us this, that Jesus came to them and he touched them and he told them, Arise and do not be afraid. And so when they lifted up their eyes, when they looked up, oh, everything is gone. And there was only Jesus there and Jesus alone. What happened to the cloud? Where is Moses and Elijah who was there? They are gone, and it was Jesus there alone. Well, when they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus commanded and he instructed the three of them, Peter, James, and John. He told them this, Do not tell anyone what you have seen with your eyes. Do not tell anyone this glorious and very wonderful thing that you have seen. Do not tell anyone until the day the Son of Man is risen again. Now, of course, when Peter, James and John heard this, they could not understand what was Jesus saying because they cannot understand what does it mean for Jesus to be risen again. Because remember, Jesus has not gone to the cross yet. But one day, Peter, James and John will understand that what they have seen, what Jesus has brought them up to the mountain to see, was really to prove to them that Jesus is the Son of God and He is even God Himself. Now, but the Bible also told us this, that after Peter, James and John saw this vision, they saw how Jesus changed in front of them, his, son, his face was like a sun, his clothes were all white like the light, they also understood that this is very marvelous, very glorious, 
And it must only be because Jesus is the Son of God. And he must be that promised King of Kings and Lord of Lords that God has given to men. And Jesus must be the promised Saviour. And so they were wondering and they asked Jesus, Master, did not the word of God teach us that before the promised king, before the Messiah comes, right? Wouldn't there be Elias that comes before him? And Jesus explained, Yes, indeed, Elias will come. And Jesus told them, Actually, Elias had already come. And he has already done what he need to do. And the three disciples, they understood that Jesus was talking about John the Baptizer. And right from the very first lesson, we have already learned this, that John the Baptizer has come, right, before Jesus to prepare and make ready all the hearts of the people for Jesus. And so all of this that Jesus has allowed Peter, James and John to see and to understand with their heart is to prove to us one thing, that Jesus is the Son of God, the promised King, the promised Saviour of this world. Now children, even if all these weeks you have not truly believed that Jesus is that promised Messiah, the King, the Saviour, the Son of God, Auntie Shermaine pray that even as we, as we learn from the Bible today and as we really know that Jesus, right, He is God Himself even, to change himself, right? To be changed like that. There is no question at all that he is that promised king and that promised saviour. The only question is this now. Can we believe? When we read the word of God, when we listen to the word of God, do we believe? I pray that we do we can believe and we know that Jesus is the promised King and the promised Saviour. And not only that, if we know that Jesus is that promised King, the promised Saviour, God Himself, what must we do? Of course, we must go around and tell people about it right right now we are going to school maybe many of our friends do not know that and if they do not believe in jesus then one day they will be punished for all their disobedience before god and we must tell them do you know that Jesus is the promised King and Saviour? Jesus is God Himself and all we have to do is to believe in Him. Repent of our sins and believe in Jesus. And you tell them about how the Bible tells us that before the three disciples, Peter, James and John, even how Jesus' look was changed. His face was shining like the sun and his clothes were shining as white as light. How is that possible? It's only because Jesus is the Son of God. He's God himself. Jesus is the promised Messiah. Jesus is the promised Saviour. I pray you believe. And if you have belief, I pray that you and Auntie Sherman even and all of us who have belief will go around 
to tell all our friends and our families about that. Okay, we thank God for this lesson. And today, our memory verse is to help us to remember this incident right on the mountain top of what did the Apostle John has seen. Okay, now over here, our memory verse today comes from John chapter 1, verse 14, and this is part B. What does it say? And we beheld his glory. Who is this we? This we refers to Peter, James, and John. They were the ones that Jesus had chosen to see, right? We beheld his glory. How on that mountaintop, Jesus showed that he is the Son of God, God himself. And how even the Father in heaven said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him, right? All of this are the glory of Jesus, the glory of God, right? And over here, it says, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Jesus is the only begotten Son of God, okay? So let us read this verse together. It's quite a long verse, all right? So let's try to learn this together, okay? Let's read first the reference and then the verse, okay? John chapter 1, verse 14b. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Okay, let's try to read the first part. John chapter 1 verse 14b. And we beheld his glory. How is this glory described? The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Okay? Now, let's try with some actions over here, okay? It comes from John chapter 1, verse 14, part B, right? And it says, And we beheld his glory, right? The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, okay? Father in heaven, right? It says, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Okay, let's try together again. First the reference and then the verse, okay? One, two, three. John chapter 1, verse 14 B. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Right, well done. Okay, I know that this is not a, a short verse, right? Quite long. You may take some time, but don't worry. Okay, remember ask Papa and Mama to help you to write in your memory verse book and you spend the whole week to try to memorize this. And not just memorize, but remember how Jesus is the Son of God, is God himself, how he changed into that glorious vision, right, for Peter, James and John to see. Okay, let's try to read this again. One, two, three. John chapter 1 verse 14b And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Right, well done. Okay, so as we end today's Sunday school, 
Remember what is most important is always for us to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He's the promised Messiah. That means he's the promised King. He's the promised Savior. We believe and we tell everyone about Jesus so that they may also be saved, right? And not be punished in the lake of fire, but to be with Jesus in heaven one day. All of that we have learned, remember it, believe in it, and tell everyone about it, okay? Now as we end, let us sing, Isn't He Wonderful? And this time, I want all of us to stand up, okay? And let's sing it with a lot of joy and happiness and to praise Jesus, okay? Let's sing it two times. Are you ready? One, two, three. Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? One more time. Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Well done. Alright, so remember to do your worksheet after the lesson. Right, and again, remember to believe, remember to share that Jesus is the Savior of the world. He is the Son of God. All right, let us pray. Hands together, eyes closed, and listen to Auntie Shermaine. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for how you have helped us to learn many precious lessons from the Word of God, from the Bible, all these weeks. We thank you especially today, how we have learned from your Word, how Peter, James and John were able to see the glorious change of our Saviour, Jesus Christ how he is the son of God, how he is God himself, and how there is no question that he is the promised king and he is the promised saviour. Help us to always believe and to obey the words of Jesus and help us to be brave to share it with others. Continue to protect us and be with all of us till we meet again. In Jesus' precious name, we ask and pray. Amen. All right, children. Thank you so much and I will see you next week. Right? God bless. Bye.